So it was the final reunion tonight and everybody's back on the couch talking about their time on the experiment. I did crash. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it wasn't massively drama filled. They had each couple talk about their time in the experiment and what went wrong in their relationship. Now the main goss actually happens after the show aired because Ella went on her Instagram with a couple of the other cast members and they spilt a bit of tea, which I happened to catch. So make sure you keep a lookout for those videos that will pop up. Do you still have feelings for Roz? I do, yeah. First up was Ros and Thomas, and I've always been a fan of those two. I wish that they could have made it as a couple, and it's sad that they never did. It was such a shock when Ros decided to end her relationship with Thomas. Even Tasha said that everybody was shocked by how quick it ended. Ros and Thomas said, like, they're not together. We were all like, what? They were happy. I've got a screenshot, like, they were cuddling, they were so happy, and then it was like two days later, it was done. And I was like, That's rah! Hard. Yeah. What the hell? But I still like them as individual people and you can see that they still have friendship and love for each other. So hopefully they both find love for themselves in the future. But you're actually the most wonderful person I've ever met. So I can never say a bad word about you. Next up was Erica and Jordan and Jordan did finally apologise with a little bit of a push from everyone. He finally apologised for not telling Erica everything that happened that night. I'm sorry that I didn't make you aware of everything that happened that night. And she did decide to forgive him and give him a second chance, although she said her guard was now up and he would have to prove himself for a while before she could trust him again. But it looks like that they have worked through those issues because they both put up pictures and videos on their Instagram now confirming that they are still in a relationship and looking all lovey-dovey together. Let's talk about Jordan kissing the lass in the taxi. Did he really kiss her? Now, there was a little detail on Ella's live which sort of contradicted Jordan's story because they were saying on the live that Jordan kissed the girl in the taxi and that Paul did confirm that to Tasha. We were not there. We were not in the taxi, obviously, because we were not. That was a boys' night out. No. I was at home in a mid bed, but obviously Paul told me what he saw, and everyone loves Paul. Everyone knows he's a very nice, Paul genuine person. Nice. And Paul, Paul said what he said. Now on the reunion, we see Paul saying that the girl kissed Jordan and he pushed her away, but now it's saying the opposite that Jordan kissed this girl in the taxi. So I don't know what the real story is at the end of the day. So we might have to keep our eyes peeled to see if there's any more details of this drama. I will say it was funny watching Luke on the couch getting frustrated at Jordan and obviously wanting him to get into more trouble. He's like, oh, he's just going to get away with it. <laughs> he's actually going to get away with this. <laughs> he clearly wanted Jordan to be in the doghouse a bit longer, so that was funny to see. <laughs> First guy to ever have accepted me and that means so much. Now, Ella and JJ were next on the couch, and again, they kept their scene very positive. Even Bianca's part in the whole thing was positive, where they had her say, get a tissue for Ella when she was crying. Bianca was very sweet in the whole thing. Maybe there's some tissue on the side. Go for it. The whole scene was nice and neat, and yeah, I don't know if more was said, but they definitely cut that down to keep it positive. Now, the drama part of the whole thing is, again, afterwards in the Instagram Live, where Luke reveals that when JJ first enters the experiment, the first thing that happens is the producers approached Luke and told him to say to JJ, hey, who is your type and are you interested in Ella? The second JJ got there, I didn't even speak to him, right? I said hello like, when he first came in. At dinner party, I had a story producer go to me, go over to JJ, I'll, I'll say, are you from Essex? And that's from Essex. And say, what's your type? And then when he tells you, ask if Ella's he's the sort of person he goes for it shows that they orchestrated the entire thing that they were planting the seed in jj's head that he would be interested in ella so this is the first time jj meets them and they've already planned the whole thing out which again confirms what nathaniel said that how real was their relationship if their relationship's real it was definitely orchestrated it was definitely pushed by the producers for them two to be together. We've had an amazing experience. I hope that Matt does find someone because I think he's an amazing person. He's just not my person. Next on the couch was Matt and Adrian and basically it was just them saying how they had different wants and needs, the relationship wasn't gonna work, he didn't have the high energy she wanted and yada yada yada. But the main goss happens after the episode on Instagram again 
when Matt and Shona have confirmed their relationship. You may have seen Jodie Lee did post that earlier today, uh, showing the little video that they put up of them having a little kiss and confirming that they are, in fact, together. Now, I do have this other little bit of information from Tasha saying how they met for the first time and how they were all flirty with each other. It was the reunion. It was the night of the reunion. And okay. Matt was in my hotel. We was all split, in, split up into different hotels. And Matt was in my hotel. And Shona and Bianca got a taxi to our hotel to have drinks and chill. So <laughs> that, the reunion was the first time they'd met each other and like, been in a conversation. So they were sat on the sofa. And I was sat with Terence and Paul. And I was looking at them and I was like... Ross, okay. You, 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 you see what I'm doing? But I'm seeing flirty. And they kept going out for vapes. And I was like, sure, I don't vape like that. So why is she vaping out there with Matt? She don't want to vape. She don't. Uh, and then it was just flirty, but nothing happened. Like, they were literally just talking. Yeah. But you could see there was something. And it was it was cute, but I didn't expect them to get together. Yeah. It was yeah. madness. And I remember, like, Paul saying, oh, um, Matt's going to meet up with Shona. And I was like, like, I don't know what, how far after this was. And I was like, what? He was like, yeah. I was like, day or just chill or what? And he was like, and, 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 and I was like, right then. So congratulations to Matt and Shona. And hopefully Adrian will also find someone that can match her energy in the future. So I was just editing the video and I realized how long it was getting. So I'm going to stop it here. But don't worry, I'm going to put up a part two later today. So I cover the whole finale for you guys. So be sure to check that out.